Everybody knows about USDA organic, halal and other food certifications. But have you heard about the Hua Parakora from New Zealand? This badge is given to New Zealand farmers by the Tevaka Kai Ora, which is the National Maori Organics Authority of Aotearoa. And as you can see they use a lot of words from the Maori language which is appropriate by all means but I'm having difficulties to understand. So what does the certification do? And why is it important? That's the question I was asking myself while making this video. What I found out is that Hua means product and Parakora means without waste or harm. So you can very loosely translate it as organics. But Hua Parakora isn't just about not using synthetic pesticides. There is a whole spiritual and cultural dimension on top of that to explore. The farmers who have this certification or are striving for for it are going back to the indigenous Maori roots. They try to live in harmony with nature and harvest clean food from their ancestral lands, which have been in some cases stolen from their predecessors. They aren't trying to mold and shape nature to grow stuff in there, but rather use traditional heirloom seeds that have been shaped over generations to thrive in raw nature. And this is in my opinion a very important undertaking, because I simply want to have the choice to eat this ancient variety of grain, these heirloom apples and indigenous corn which hasn't been modified to handle Roundup instead of being spoon fed the exact same nutrient depleted flour from wheat that simply wouldn't grow without all the science which they sell in every grocery store a thousand different ways. And also since the global food supply depends on just five or six major crops and if you are watching my video, I believe you view preserving these precious seeds for future generations as an honorable endeavor too. So what are the perks when you get yourself Hua Parakura certified? I will let Dr. Jessica Hutchings explain that to you for me because she has it. Having been both certified organic with Organic Farm NZ and then also too being Hua Parakura verified, there's just stark differences in the processes between Hua Parakura and the other Western certification systems. And an example of that is in Western certification, organic certification systems, we have, I fill out paperwork, send off an email, an auditor comes out, I might, might be a different auditor from year to year, it's on the farm for three or four hours, he or she's read the paperwork, um, and then we go for a walk around the farm and they've gone. But with the Hua Parakori, we're actually about building communities and building uh, communities which are resilient, which are transformational. And so when this farm was received its full Hua Parakori verification, we had a hui of about 60 to 70 people up here. It was really kind of like almost gaining collective consent. You know, we walked around the farm, we had people from the Māori Organics group with us who asked questions in relation to the kaupapa. Then we had other Māori people there steeped in mātauranga Māori and te reo who were also too asking us questions. And so in lots of ways it's a learning framework. We get to ask these questions and we get to respond, but then other people who have come to that hui or that final verification get to add their whakaaro or their thoughts as well. Um, it takes a full three years to become Hua Parakori verified. So as farmers usually don't have millions lying around, what's the damage on this Hua Parakora badge? Well, it's actually not that bad. For a non-commercial producer it's 225 New Zealand dollars and commercial certification is 495 New Zealand dollars, which is still pennies compared to the thousands of United States dollars you would normally pay for the USDA certification. But I get that the Hua Parakora and the USDA USDA Organic are two different certifications from two different countries by two different authorities. I hope that you learned something from this non-mainstream food certification explanation and that you can maybe incorporate some of it in your own operation if you are a farmer that is. Thanks for watching.